The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi plant is again inserting a camera into one of its damaged reactors. Workers at TEPCO are trying to get a better look inside the number two reactor. Crews used an industrial endoscope in January to look inside the containment vessel. They obtained images of parts of the walls and pipes, but they were unable to see the contaminated water at the bottom. Their fiber optic line was not long enough. Their fiber optic line was not long enough. This time, workers will insert a longer line to monitor the surface conditions and temperature of the water. They'll also put a dosimeter inside to measure radiation levels on and near the walls. TEPCO spokespersons say they want to confirm that the fuel that melted and fell to the bottom of the vessel is being properly cooled. They can't fix Fukushima fuck you proper. They say the radiation checks will be useful in developing the equipment needed for the complete shutdown of the reactors. They know they can't fix Fukushima and they know it's killing everybody. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says cooling water in one of the facilities damaged the reactor is much shallower than previously thought. Tokyo Electric Power Company confirmed on Monday that the water is 60 centimeters deep by inserting an endoscope into the number two reactor. The survey was the second at the reactor since January. The firm has been injecting nearly nine tons of water per hour into the reactor to cool melted fuel that fell to the bottom of the reactor's containment vessel. The low level indicates that water continues to leak into the reactor building through suppression chambers under the vessel. The utility says the fuel is still being cooled as the water temperature remains at around 48 degrees Celsius. The latest findings suggest that decommissioning the reactor could be much harder than expected. The latest findings suggest that decommissioning the reactor could be much harder than expected. They can't do a damn thing about Fukushima for at least a thousand years. The firm may need to repair the vessel so it can be filled with water to block strong radiation. The IAEA, the N Nuclear Regulatory Commission, the President of the United States, and they all know that this is the methodology in which they're going to use to destroy the populace of the planet Earth. Tokyo Electric Power Company says about 80 liters of contaminated water has leaked into the sea near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The water contains radioactive strontium. Plus, the nuclear core, in all likelihood, all three of them melted down into the groundwater. TEFCA employees found a break in a pipe on Monday morning. It took the workers 20 minutes to stop the leak. The firm estimates that 120 tons of water escaped. It says 80 liters reached the ocean via a sewer system. They can't fix Fukushima proper. TEPCA says it's building a safety barrier for the sewer, but it's still under construction and was unable to stop the spill. A similar incident occurred at the plant last December. The nuclear fissionable materials that are coming out of Fukushima are thousands and thousands and thousands of times more powerful than what happened in Chernobyl. A non-governmental organization studying the global use of nuclear materials has given poor ratings to North Korea, Pakistan and Iran. The U.S.-based group Nuclear Threat Initiative ranked 32 countries that own at least one kilogram of material that can be used to make nuclear weapons. The report assessed how countries manage and transport nuclear materials and whether they follow international rules. Australia ranked highest. It gained 94 out of a possible 100 points. North Korea ranked lowest with 37 points. Group members pointed out that Pyongyang hadn't signed on to any international treaties. Well, I think of North Korea with its last place ranking as a country that really has to do the most in terms of assuring the international community that it's taking its stewardship of nuclear materials seriously. Iran and Pakistan ranked just above North Korea. Japan was 23rd. The report raised alarms about an increase in mixed oxide fuel that could be used to make nuclear weapons. They are screwing us because they know we're all going to die from this.
back to your home. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. Some shit.